Hello and Namaste everyone. Welcome to my channel Sigma X. Today we are learning about solving the numerical problem related to single pulley system. Two masses 7 kg and 12 kg are connected at the two ends of a light in extensible string that passes over a frictional pulley. Using free body diagram method, find the acceleration of masses and the tension in the string when the masses are released. Can you solve this problem? If yes, then you can watch this video so that you can get revised. If no, then you need to watch till the end of this video. This problem can be solved by using Newton's second law of motion without making free body diagram. But since we are asked to solve it using free body diagram, we are going to use it and solve this problem. Do you know what a free body diagram is? It is a diagram used to show the relative magnitude and direction of all forces acting upon an object in a given situation. In free body diagram, an object is generally represented by a box whereas the force is represented by an arrow from the center of the box, outward in the direction that the force is acting. For example, this free body diagram depicts four forces acting upon the object. Remember, objects do not necessarily always have four forces acting upon them. There may be more or less. There is actually no hard and fast rule about the number of forces that must be drawn in a free body diagram. The only rule for drawing is to depict all the forces that exist for the object in the given situation. Thus, to construct free body diagram, it is extremely important to know the various types of forces. Now, let's analyze this problem. In this problem, we are asked to find the acceleration of masses and the tension in the string. Therefore, let A be the acceleration of masses and T be the tension in the string. Here, we must provide these quantities their direction using our personal intuition. In this diagram, we can see that M2 is greater than M1. As a result, M2 will win the tug of war against M1 and therefore M2 will move in downward direction whereas M1 will move in upward direction when they are released. Hence, by using our personal intuition, we can say that the acceleration is in clockwise direction that is upward for mass M1 and downward for mass M2. Actually, you can choose any direction either clockwise or anti-clockwise for acceleration. The sign of final answer will verify whether your assumption is correct or not. If the acceleration comes to be positive, then be happy your assumption is right. But if the acceleration comes to be negative, then don't be sad, be happy your assumption only is wrong, not the answer. You can fix it by writing a line about the difference between your assumption and the result. The direction of tension is always upward in this type of pulley system, no matter which mass is taken into account. Tension is always on head, not on feet. This means tension always acts towards top, or you can say in upward direction. By this analogy, we can say in this problem of pulley, tension acts in upward direction. Now, let's draw a free body diagram of mass M1. There are only two forces acting on it, tension T in upward direction and its weight W1 in downward direction. Since the acceleration is in upward direction, we can infer that tension T must be greater than its weight W1. Hence, we can write T minus W1 equals to F1, where F1 is the net force experienced by mass M1 in upward direction, that is, in the direction of T. As we know that W1 equals to M1 times acceleration due to gravity G and F1 equals to M1 times acceleration A, we can write T minus M1 G equals to M1 A. Let it be equation 1. Similarly, let's draw the free body diagram of mass M2. There are also two forces acting on it, tension T in upward direction and its weight W2 in downward direction. Since the acceleration here is in downward direction, we can infer that its weight W2 must be greater than tension T. Hence, we can write W2 minus T equals to F2 where F2 is the net force experienced by mass M2 in downward direction. As we know that W2 equals to M2Z and F2 equals to M2A, we can write M2Z minus T equals to M2A. Let it be equation 2. 
Now, to find the acceleration, we must add equation 1 and equation 2. Therefore, adding equation 1 and equation 2, we get m2g minus m1g equals to m2a plus m1a. Solving for a, we get a equals to g times m2 minus m1 divided by m1 plus m2. Here, putting the value of m1, m2 and g equals to 9.8 meter per second square, we get a is equals to 2.58 meter per second square. Now, to find the tension, we can substitute the equation of acceleration in any equation, either equation 1 or equation 2. Therefore, substituting the equation of acceleration in equation 1, we get T minus M1G equals to M1G times M2 minus M1 divided by M1 plus M2. Solving the above equation for T, we get T equals to 2 times M1 M2 G divided by M1 plus M2. Here, putting the value of M1, M2 and G, we get T equals to 86.65 Newton. Hence, the acceleration of masses is 2.58 meter per second square and the tension in this string is 86.65 Newton. In this way, we can solve problems related to single pulley system. I hope by using these simple concepts, you can solve some complex problems too. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you like this video, then please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification when I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye bye.